All right, guys. Today I thought I was going to have to make my first uh, bad impression video about the HS512, but it turned out to be all right. On the first part of the video, you could see I keep losing my data. Well, it happened several times, but that time it happened up while I was recording, so it was, you know, good. The, the screen flashes right a little bit real quick. You can't see what it says. And then all of a sudden, no device connected, and then everything, you know, all your probes and everything disappear. Uh, I talked to... Well, on the Telegram group, I, I asked if anybody else ran into that, and I, I wasn't expecting an answer from Martin Lauren himself, but he got on there, and to the car, he got on there so quick, and he told me about the attenuators that he makes. Well, luckily, whenever I ordered the HS512, I ordered, he has a nice set of three attenuators on the 10 and the 20. He puts a circuit in there that helps reject the EMI interference that interferes with the Android tablet, not so much the scope, but it interferes with the Android. And we all want to use Android tablets. None of us want to go back to carrying laptops around. So what the nitty gritty is, uh, the 10, the AT10 and the AT20 both have the circuit to reject that EMI. And it did fine. It, it did beautiful after I used the times 10 attenuator. Usually to use a, secondary ignition pickup we don't use an attenuator on, on a scope that has the input voltage like the 512 does of you know 32 volts and that was the only difference between the 502 and the 512 there wasn't a 502 available so i went for the 512 it, it's you know got a heavier duty input range so whenever we do injectors whenever we do uh primary ignition we don't have to attenuate so much without damaging the scope but it, it did very good i mean the 502 is always going to be better on like you know probably cam bus it's definitely going to be better because you're going for the lower voltage that this that the scope is made for but as of now need there's two 512s left on his site and there's no 502s and from what i hear he's not going to make either of them again but that you know, I imagine he's going to make a scope. It's going to be something new. It's either going to be four channel or it's going to be Bluetooth something. But, you know, I'm going to be the first on the list for that because I really like the H-Scope software so far. I like taking this tablet instead of a good laptop around. I mean, you could get a cheap case on Amazon and, you know, you could get an Android tablet anywhere. Some are better than others, but, I mean... It's working pretty good with that one. That was the first issue I had, so enjoy the video. I have a Toyota coming in. I have to put a timing chain on it. It has coil on plugs. I mean, whenever I diagnose the timing chain, I also notice that the coil is still firing. It was a little bit weak. I used a different scope, and I'm going to use the same hand tech paddle probe I did and see if it could isolate the one that's weaker than the other three. Even though it's still firing, there's one coil that's different. We'll see if we can pick it up. All right, guys. Adios. It's really good pattern. The 512 is much better, but there, I just lost all my data. It's still down here in the buffer, but all the data's gone. So there's nothing I can zoom into to look for. So I, I already got a comment back from uh, Martin Lauren in, uh, on the Telegram group, and he suggested using uh, an attenuator, an AT10. He built uh, EMI protection into it for the interference. Uh, because I believe too close to the cable, the actual way that you clip around the wires causes an interference. So I'm running it. This is with the times 10 attenuator on it that I purchased from when I got the scope. So luckily I had one here to do it. And it seems to be working flawlessly. I'm going to stop it in the buffer. And... So beautiful pattern.
Looks better, it hasn't cut out on me. Haven't lost connectivity. I like it. I'm going to go down and save that waveform. Alright, shut the car off and I'll show you a picture of the attenuator that you need. In the end, this is what the, the attenuator. So, if you do order one of these from Martin Lauren, uh, what he said on Telegram Group is he is making these with the EMI interference, uh, the protection. So, all I did was put that, the attenuator, in between. And if you're going to get any kind of scope, I had a bunch of hand tech attenuators anyways, but I ordered, he has a whole set. So I just ordered the whole set of his, and this solved the problem. And what he also recommended is going to the battery, which uh, it was dropping out on both for me from the battery. I actually moved it closer to the block, and as you go closer to the source of the interference, it, it would get worse. But I was already getting it here, and I moved it closer, so I was making it actually worse by moving it closer to the block, to the coil pack. But in the end, like I say, there, there's great support for these things. That, I mean, it, it's that simple.